In the eloquent vernacular of the great Carl Sagan, we are star stuff. But what does that really mean? Let's take a step back and look at stars. Stars start their lives in the space nurseries known as nebulas. Nebulas are comprised of gas and dust. Gravity causes some regions of the nebula to become denser than others. The augmented gravity causes the more concentrated regions to attract further gas and dust to form the core of the star. Eventually, the core becomes dense enough to allow fusion to occur. Specifically, early stars produce energy by fusing hydrogen together to form helium. From this point, there are two significant possibilities for the star. The star is born as either an average star, roughly the size of our sun, or a massive star, on average 25 times the size of our sun. Average stars live a relatively quiet life. However, they inevitably fuse all their hydrogen and must begin fusing helium together to maintain equilibrium. As the fusion produces heavier elements, the energy from the reactions greatly supersede the gravity of the star itself, causing the star to expand into a red giant. As the star expands, the gravity becomes weaker near the edges of the star. It grows so weak that it loses hold of its outer atmosphere, and this atmosphere drifts off into space, forming what is known as planetary nebula. What remains of the star is a white dwarf, a small, dense, hot star. The life of a massive star is much different and exceedingly volatile. Massive stars expand as average stars do, but as the already massive star grows larger, the core of the star becomes much hotter and denser as iron accumulates. Once there is enough energy to fuse iron, the reaction eventually pulls in energy from the outer layers of the star. And BAM! A supernova explosion. All other 86 elements of the periodic table are created out of the fusion of atoms from the energy of the explosion. Stars took the gaseous clouds of hydrogen and helium, what first comprised the universe, and formed every natural element that comprises you and me. We truly are stuff of stars.